Next we want to offset this circle. Click on the offset entities. We want to offset at a distance of 5. Select the item to offset and we'll choose a reverse offset. Hit OK. We can now exit the sketch and it will automatically take us into the boss extrude. Let's change to a trimetric view so that we can see which direction we're extruding. We'll keep this extrusion a blind extrusion, but we want to change the value from 10 millimeters to 12. Hit OK. Now let's cut into the part. Click on the Cut Extrude icon and once again it will prompt us for a flat face to sketch on. I'll click on the center of this part. Let's change to a top view orientation so that we can look directly onto the sketch plane. I'll take the circle tool, hover over the origin, click once, move my cursor, click again to draw a circle. Let's dimension the circle. Let's accept our changes for the sketch and it will take us into the cut extrude command. Let's change to a trimetric view. so that we can see which direction it's cutting. We're going to change from a blind cut extrude to a through wall. Hit OK. Next we want to create a hole using the hole wizard feature. This is another tool for creating holes in a part. Let's return to a top view and click on the hole wizard icon. In the hole wizard specifications, we can choose from a predefined library of common holes. We'll click on countersunk, choose ANSI metric, choose a flathead screw, and for the size we'll choose M6. Another one of the settings we'll change is the head clearance, so make sure that's selected. And we'll do it by added counterbore. We can now go to the Position tab to choose where we'd like it placed. It prompts us to click on the, the flat face where we want the hole to reside. As I click on this face, it'll place a point in our first instance for the hole wizard. I'll add another one directly under the origin by hovering over the origin, moving my cursor down, and clicking. When I'm done placing holes, I need to get out of the point tool. I can do that by either clicking the escape or by clicking on the point tool again to deselect it. I can now select on this point, drag it down to the origin, and then move it up and let go of my mouse, and it will place it directly over the origin. Since an M6 is rather large, I can change it back to an M4. Let me hit OK. Choose the Type tab. 
scroll down, and select M4. You'll see the preview update. Let's put some dimensions on our placement. I'll click on the Position tab, click on Smart Dimension, click once on the origin, once on the point, another click to place the dimension, and type in a value of 22. Since I'm currently in the Dimension tool, I can continue to dimension the other point by clicking on the point, the origin, clicking another time, and typing in the value. As I'm done dimensioning, I'm done positioning, and I'm done choosing the type of hole I want, I can hit OK. You'll see that the holes are applied to the part. Since we don't really want these holes applied to this part, we'll delete these holes by going to the Feature Manager Design Tree, right-clicking on the feature, and choosing Delete. We need to confirm the delete. 